guys. I did make one change to the driving range program. It allows you to put in the early or late or ding code on the apex. So um, it doesn't keep an average anymore, the apex. So if you have it, you download it earlier, I mean, and you've done some mapping, no worries. You can just keep on doing what you're doing, but the latest program here will, you can see for the apex, I put in uh, whether it's an early, early ding or a late ding or a ding. I wanted to track the variance of uh, early and late hits to see uh, what the variation is. So, I've been doing the three iron. So, let's do, let's do a few more of the three irons. And there's a ding. Now, let's see. I'm not worried about row off. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, ding 111 for the apex. Okay. Take another shot here. Right. I figure this way you can see the arches for uh, late and early ding hits. Early. I might have a 108. I do have a, well, I got a ding of 108. We'll see. And that was an early hit, 108. I do have four entries on that, huh? Okay. see that Let's see how many dings I have 213 ding 105 apex I've only got two of those and the average is still 213 okay let's see if I can get another ding here Let's see what that one comes out to. Uh, is it 213 or close? Oh, 218. All right. Ah, but you see, that thing actually changed the apex to 111. Hmm. I wonder if that VEM is uh, changing the apex. Because that was two ding hits. Uh, well, actually three. But uh, I've got two ding hits with an apex of 111. And then I've also got two ding hits uh, with a 108 for 215, 217. So you know it's putting out a two seven it's putting out a uh, two yard variances between those two dings so far so let's try another one do i have many late hits uh, one huh? one late hit it looks like okay maybe we can try to get a little late hit here Here's a late hit. See what the apex says. I don't know. See, that's a late 111. So we'll see if that gets around. Yeah. 217. Mm -hmm. That 
was 08. Okay. Let's see what we got here so far then. So these are all the different uh, apexes um, that I've logged in hitting. The 105s, early, late, and near ding. That was pretty, pretty good. 213 here early 108 and the ding 108 214 215 and then the apex here of 111 216 217 I guess you could look so far the biggest variance would be five five yards here. 213 to uh, 218. And I just wonder, you know, you ding a shot, it's 105. You ding another shot, it's 108, and you ding another shot, it's 111. So, you know, you tell me how are you going to how are you going to uh, combat that? You know, unless you were to average out the dings only. You know, 103, 215, and 217, you know, you could probably average those out, 213 plus 215 plus 217. Divided by three, that's two fifteen for the average of the ding. So, hmm. Hmm. well, I'm not sure how I want to proceed with that, but. Uh, Anyway, you'll have the uh, the numbers. Do what you want with them. Um, the 105, 108, 111. Let's take one more shot here and see if there's a different apex that it's going to give us here. Try to get closer to the dings, you know. That's the late hit. What does that give us? 114, that's a new one. Mm -hmm. 218. That's a late hit. 214. I don't have that one listed. That's way early. That's a 108. That's a late hit. I changed it uh, around so that I could record all my hits, you know, um, that was a late hit. Instead of just wasting ball hits and trying to hit all the dings, I can uh, might as well record the miss hits too, I guess. 
and load them in there. There's a ding. Let's see what happens. Uh, there's a ding 111. Eight. And I had a late 111. So, let's see what we got here. There's a late hit. Get my ruler out. 216. There's a ding on Apex. 217. And another early hit. 218. Mm. So. Yeah, you know. <sighs> Might just take these averages for. Uh, Take the averages for the apexes, you know. Uh, 105, 105, 105. Well, that's 213, 108, you know. That's just going to be 214. But then the 111s, we got three of those. Right? One, two, three. Three elevens, so hmm. and these were averaged out in one fourteen. All right. Well, if you want to record late and uh, early ding hits, you can now. I'm just kind of curious to see how uh, what variations we're getting with this top tracer. You know, that was a ding, 213. And a ding, 105. I do have three of those hits on that, huh? Hmm. Ding 105. Uh, that average 213, so that's pretty consistent. 105s, 105s, 105s. They really haven't changed much. So. All right. Well, that is the update. I'm just going to leave it like that. So. you wanted to you could uh, record your late and early hits and your ding hits I'm putting a uh, L in front of the apex number if I hit it late on uh, E if I hit it early and D if I ding it and then I can uh, hit some shots map them with those different hits and uh, Look at the report later and see what I want to average out. So it's there if you want to record it or if you just want to uh, just use the Apex number for all your late and early hits. Um, but the program now will key, uh, use the Apex as a key. So as you see, you're going to have different uh you'll have different records uh with the key because of the uh, it's going to use the apex also so if you were to leave out the uh letter code and just put the apex number in 105 105 105 then this would be just one record average um, same thing with the 108 uh, if you were just to leave it at you know 108 108 and don't put a code in there for your early or ding hits or late hits you only have one record that would average these two out and 111 same thing if you left off the 
code and just put in 111 for the apex you would have the average one record only uh, for 111 so it's up to you the new options there if you want to map early late and ding hits or if it doesn't matter to you you can just put in the apex number by itself and don't put the code in front of it if you don't want to track your late early and ding hits so all right that's it and i'm going to leave it like that and not change it anymore so all right have fun with it have a good day